Hey guys, so today I thought I would share with you, because last night I was looking up on just scaring the internet like I usually do when I'm home alone and bored out of my brain, and I came across this photo of a conversation between this just human that was representing, like, say, all of humanity, and then on the other person that was receiving it was Mother Nature. And I've got the photo here, and I thought that I would um, share with you what it says. It says, Mother Gaia, I've come on behalf of all humans to apologize for destroying nature and beg for forgiveness. Oh my, so oh my beloved self-centered humans. We are sorry for being so selfish. We never, want, we never meant to kill nature. That wasn't what I meant by self-centered. Nature is adaptable. No matter what you do to it, it will simply change and take on new forms. It has survived worse things than you. You are, however, in the process of changing it so much that you can't live in it. You are not killing nature, you're killing yourself. That's what I meant by self-centered. You think that's that just because you can't live, then nothing can. What? You're fucking yourself over big time and won't be missed. So that little last part made me chuckle when I like first saw it. But that's pretty much the truth of what's how our um, society is going. We, all the big companies and everything, we, our whole society is driven towards profit. It's profit at all costs kind of thing. And it doesn't matter what kind of thing is discarded in the process. Most of the time it's nature. Like, if you see all the, um, like, photos of big forests being cut down, they, they say they've been cut down at, like, football oval fields, this, like, a minute. And that's just, we're destroying nature. And in the process of destroying nature, we're technically destroying ourselves because once that's gone, we won't be able to survive, whereas the Earth and all the other things will be around no matter how long it takes for us to disappear. They will be continuing on far into the future after we're gone if we keep on heading down this road. And this, the good thing about um, the, our society now is that we're actually realising that climate change and that whole thing is a big deal because up to, to then people are just like, nah, it's just... it's. Just pretty much just shove it under the carpet, just like, nah, we, we don't, it's, it's, a, it's not really a thing. We don't really need to take any notice of it. It's not that big. It won't affect our lifetime. Because that's what a lot of people think. They go, it's not going to affect me in my, say, 100 years that I'm here. So why should I worry about it? But that's the thing. People need to think about the future generations. What, how they are going to live in their lifetime. How will they survive? Because if we fuck up the planet now there's not going to be any way that they will be able to live in the future. And I think it was a couple of weeks ago at the, uh, some thing in the, with the UN, a lot of countries signed this thing to about the climate change so that they can actually fight against it. And it was pretty much most of the sovereign countries in the entire world. And that's probably one of the biggest steps that we've actually made towards fighting climate change and all that kind of stuff. And hopefully in the process of, like, say, fighting climate change, we'll be able to see our mistakes and save all of the, um, try and save nature in the process, because at the moment we're just destroying it and destroying ourselves. And by doing so, we will end up dying, but everything else will survive. If, even if we kill off everything, in, say, 100,000 years, everything will most likely be back humans. We will have destroyed ourselves and not been able to survive. So it's like these kinds of things that I think about just randomly. Most of the time I think about them just before I go to bed and it's a very heavy topic to I guess to think about just before sleeping but it's that whole idea that we need to kind of preserve our planet because it's the only thing that is going to be able to sustain us and if we destroy that we are, won't be able to survive anywhere else at our present with our present technology because maybe in say a couple of hundred years by the time we if we fuck up the planet even more we might, might be able to go and travel to a different planet and live there but now the way we're going we might not get to that technology state so this is kind of just a message just to all the people that think the same as me just think of how, how you act and how you interact with nature and all that and how your, I guess, impact is affecting you either positively or negatively. 
And that's the message I wanted to get across today. And I hope you guys like this video. And I'll see you guys next time. And as always, stay safe. Peace.